I'm Roy Shindell. I'm the Executive Director of Sales and Marketing here at the beautiful Mission End Resort and Club in Howie in the Hills. And I have the pleasure of having Mr. Butcher with me. And Bud is the president of uh, the company. Yep. And you've been working here since you're seven years old. It's a family-run and operated business. Well, I'll say I've been here since I'm seven. I'm not sure I've worked much in my life. <laughs> not when you do what you like to do. It's well, not it's, work. It's been a long year. Oh, this give has us, been. Give us your feeling on, on where we are after all that. Sure. Well, I, I, I will say that uh, the last year has tested all of us, whether you are our staff members, uh, whether you're a stockholder, and frankly, it's tested our customers. We have all shared the same concerns uh, that all of you have. Uh, we're first and foremost worried about our health, our family's health, and our country. And uh, we happen to be in an industry that's been uh, hit pretty hard, Roy, as you yeah. know. And it's not just us, it's across the country. And uh, we're delighted to see, knock on wood, an improve, improving economy. Uh, we will rent more rooms this March than we have since February of 20. 20. What a great sign. What a blessing. Yeah. And our staff is enthused and charged up. Uh, we are. Uh, we have continued to work hard during the last uh, 13 months. Some of the things we did in the early days was took advantage, frankly, of the closings of some of our restaurants. And we did repairs and maintenance and reorganizations, things that we were so busy not getting to because we were taking care of customers that it kind of turned out to be a bit of a blessing, if you will. And we're talking about completely renovating some of the restaurant space, oh, uh, right. painting, and, and, and really preparing for the inevitable comeback, which we're that's starting right. to experience now. You know, we, we've been in the business, uh, as, as you laughingly said, since I'm seven. So over the last 50 plus years, and we've seen stock market crashes and oil embargoes and 21% inflation, but, but this one was really bad. And, and yet, the family, we have faith. We have faith in our employees, we have faith in our country, we have faith in our customers. And so we knew that you just couldn't shut down altogether. So even though we had furloughed employees, we had retained employees to do maintenance and uh, get prepared for the reopening because we knew it was coming. Yep. And it's and, pretty admirable. And it's here. Yep. And I think the meeting planners that we continue to talk to during the pandemic moving uh, groups and so forth really has has made an impact to our customer base. They appreciated oh, yeah. that they were we were here for them, uh, and I think uh, I think it is turning the, the the corner in a very positive way. Absolutely. Other things we hear about in the news is um, about a shortage of real estate. I don't think a lot of people know that Mission Inn also has a real estate component, yes. and uh, I believe we have a solution to this shortage in in real estate inventory. Tell us about that. Well, you're you're, you're exactly right. You know we're um, we're in a lot of different businesses, and real estate is one of them. We have the Las Colinas development, which is here. It's what I call behind the gate. Uh, we have uh, single-family homes, and we do have a small section that are multifamily condominiums. Uh, they're beautifully done. Uh, we're not out to set records in terms of the number of units we sell. We're, we're somewhat um, quiet about what we have. A lot of our residents who are here uh, were past guests of the hotel, or whether they came socially or through group business. And I and think what, what's unique about what, what we have to offer is it's a lifestyle. Yes. It's a country club lifestyle with a resort component. That's so right. So you have the best of both worlds. And you said behind the gate. You're not kidding. It's a gated community. That's right. Um, and I think that's also sought after uh, uh, today, a gated community. Yes. Country club uh, life. We have two golf courses instead of one, which is also unusual. Right. Usually, under those circumstances, and the members can benefit from the resort side. We have spa. We have trap and skeet shooting. We have a marina. You can keep your boat here. Uh, we have four restaurants to choose from. I mean, yeah. really, if you didn't want to leave the the 1,100 acre uh, right. uh, estate resort, you would never really have to. Oh no, not not at all. You, you, I mean, and, and you know, one of the things that we're very fortunate in is that uh, you know, our, our residents and our members participate socially with each other, so there, there's a great sense of camaraderie. Uh, you know, my, my sister Michelle is uh, very active, she and her husband Trey, and she was laughing on uh, Monday that she did something with members on Saturday, on Sunday, 
on Monday, she and 28 of the gals went out for girls' night out. Uh, she did something on Tuesday. Wednesday night, we had uh, one of our, our residents celebrated his birthday and invited uh, 14 of the members to go and enjoy our El Conquistador dining room. And then, of course, every Thursday is members' night. Mm -hmm. and, I hear about wine tastings yeah. uh, and all kinds of them. There's a men's uh, golf uh, group and a women's yeah. golf group that pe play at least two, three times a, a week. Oh, yeah. And, then, and, and some of the... Some of the folks play bridge or they play poker, and we've got pickleball courts that are very active. So, you know, it's 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 a nice community. It's uh, it's not the biggest for sure. We don't want it to be. Um, and um, you know, my wife and I, we've been we've been residents of the community for, golly, I I, I want to say, 19, 20 years, and uh, we've raised our four kids here, and now we've had one of our daughters move back into the community with her two children. And uh, so it's fun. Nice when you're in an environment where you know your neighbors and you That's have right. an opportunity to interact with your, your neighbors. Well, we're gonna go to a video from Tom Line, who is the broker of the real estate company. And he has a special message and offer for you. If you'd like to come and visit our residential development at Mission Inn, we can offer you a special rate at our hotel, which is right on our property, and then you can enjoy seeing our models and also our vacant lots that are available. Thank you, Tom Line, for that great offer. I hope you take advantage of it. And Bud, thank you for your time to be here today. Absolutely, Do you Roy. have any uh, parting thoughts? Well, for, for those that don't know, Tom's my brother-in-law, so he's married to my oldest sister. There's, there's six of us in my generation and spouses that have all been here and worked to develop the company. Uh, along with 14 grandchildren and so you know when we when we talk about this being a small intimate family business it literally is for uh, our lifetimes uh, we have built and developed this and we'd sure like everybody to come down and have an opportunity to see what our life's work has been all about wonderful and i can only echo that sentiment and that's for individuals that's for groups that's for if you have events birthdays golf groups non-golf groups you name it, you'll love it here. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Michael Bowery. I'm the golf director here at the Mission Inn Resort in Howland Hills, Florida, with your March rate update. I'm here on the 18th green of El Campeon. I wanted to let you know that our March rates for El Campeon are $79. Las Colinas are $65. Our senior rates on El Campeon Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday are $65, Las Colinas $55. Feel free to call the golf shop, it's simple. Call the golf shop and organize your tee time or go online at missioninresort.com and book your time. Bring your friends, we hope to see you soon here in Howie in the Hills at the Mission Inn Resort. Well, I hope you enjoyed that message, and now we have Michael with us uh, live and in person. Uh, thank you for being here. I know there's a lot to cover uh, on this segment with regard to our, our golf department and some of the amazing things that you have going on down there, so why don't you give us a quick run through. I know we just finished the McKenzie Tour. Tell us about right. that and some of the other things that are up and coming. Well, as usual, Roy, thanks for giving me the opportunity to come and share a little bit about our golf with you. You know, we've always got interesting fun things happening here on the golf side of the resort. As you mentioned, we just finished the PGA Tour McKenzie Q School. Mm -hmm. uh, this actually was our fifth Q School that uh, we've hosted for the PGA Tour. We've done three uh, Canadian McKenzie Tours and two Latino American Tours. The Latinos are coming now again in, in November. So um, that was a fantastic week. That was really, really great golf. The PGA Tour and the players were very complimentary about the overall experience, not only the golf course, but the, the staff, the resort facilities. And as a matter of fact, I think uh, Rob Ono, the senior vice president of the, the International Tours for the PGA Tour, uh, has done a testimonial for us, and I think you might be playing that a little bit later in the we show. Will after this segment, yep, absolutely. So that was a fantastic week for us. Now upcoming, we've got the Golf Week Division Three preview, which is in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. We're hosting the Division Three Championship next year, so this is a chance for those schools that are going to play in that to come and compete on El Campeon. 
followed by the U.S. Open qualifying mm -hmm. the end of April. And it bears uh, repeating that we are the only golf course in the state of Florida that's been chosen by the USGA to host all three, all three. the U.S. Open, yep. the U.S. Amateur, and the U.S. Mid-Amateur qualifying, that's something a, we're very proud a, of. It's a great testimony to the golf operations, and congratulations on, on that you. accomplishment. Thank you. And, you know, just in general, I know uh, in general the Butchers take great pride in the, the appearance of the property. If you look behind us, there's flowers blooming there. I mean, it's just a spectacular property, but even on the golf course, I noticed they were trimming every palm tree every oak tree i mean pretty amazing and it, it it looks wonderful what are some of the feedback you're getting from uh, uh some of the golf groups and and resort customers well it's all positive and you know a, a big thanks goes to danny parks our general superintendent and his mm -hmm. crew they've done a marvelous job here you know the condition of the golf course just keeps getting better and better every year uh, we get a lot of positive feedback uh, as you'll see in the in the testimonial from the pga tour folks uh, they feel the same way mm-hmm that is wonderful. And uh, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the LPGA Symmetra Tour coming up in May. And uh, you have a special announcement regarding that and the exemption. Right. We're very excited about that. As you know, we finished our first Symmetra event last October. Uh, we have another event scheduled uh, on the books coming up the end of May, May 24th through the 30th. Um, that's something we're very excited about. We have been given one sponsor exemption, which we have awarded, mm -hmm. and that person has just recently accepted. You'll be hearing more and more about uh, our sponsor exemption as we grow closer to the event, but I, I, I'm here to tell you now that Olivia Mahaffey, who is a senior at Arizona State University, uh, will be graduating uh, right after the NCAA championship, which is in Arizona the end of May. She's scheduled to hop on an airplane, fly to Howie in the Hills, and make the Symmetra event her first professional event. Now, Olivia is a very, very good player. She's been as high as the third ranked amateur in the world. Awesome. She's played in two Curtis Cup events, two Palmer Cup events. She's been an All American at Arizona State University. Impressive. Really, the only, I think, the third golfer in Arizona State history to be All-American for uh, four years in a Amazing. row there. So comes she comes a, with great credentials. And she comes from across the pond. Exactly. So she's uh, she's going to be coming a long way yes, to her, be here and it'll be very exciting to have a chance to talk to her and absolutely. get her impression of, of Mission Inn and the uh, El Campeon course. Something we're very excited about. Her actual, her home course uh, is a course that's fantastic in Northern Ireland. It, if you haven't had a chance to play Royal County Down, just across the border in Northern Ireland, you really should. It's really one of the best golf courses, certainly in Ireland, and you know some people say really one of the best golf courses in the world. Hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope she thinks we're right up there with them <laughs> in terms of golf. I, we're I, very I excited to have her here herself. for the week. So as you said, I think uh, next we'll play a, a clip from Rob Ono. He is the Senior Vice President of international tours for the PGA Tour, and he's also a member of the Executive Leadership Committee, and uh, we really appreciate his kind words. Good morning, my name is Michael Bowery. I'm the Director of Golf here at the Mission Inn Resort in Howie in the Hills, Florida. I'm standing on the first tee of El Campeon as the third round of the PGA Tour McKenzie Q School begins. We have a very special guest with us this week. His name is Rob Ono. Rob is the Senior Vice President of International Tours for the PGA Tour. Let me now pass the mic over to Rob. Thank you, Michael. Like Michael said, I'm Rob Ono. I'm with the PGA Tour. I'm part of their executive team. And we love coming here to Mission Inn. We've been doing Q schools the last few years for PGA Tour Latino America, and now the McKenzie Tour, which is PGA Tour Canada. And we have a wonderful experience down here. I mean, the first thing is just the beauty of this property. Today is a perfect example of just how beautiful this place is. And the layout for our players is challenging, very demanding for our players. So we're able to identify who the top players are that play down here. And then the quality of the course is always just in an immaculate, amazing condition. So it's the perfect blend for us to, to hold one of our events here. And we've been so pleased. The staff has been amazing courteous, kind, they'll do everything um, possible for us to make the experience great for our team and our players. And Michael and the, and the team here, the leadership is amazing. 
the spirit of partnership we feel is like no other, and we look forward to coming back here for many years to come. I hope you enjoyed those kind words. Michael, your final thoughts? Those were really fantastic compliments from the PGA Tour, something that we're very proud of. We're incredibly proud of our uh, relationship we've developed over the years with those those fine people at the PGA Tour and we just can't thank them enough for all the compliments they've been giving us. It's through consistency and quality of play here. Yeah. We're very lucky the golf courses are in great shape. The weather as you can see is just perfect for golf today. We've got some really fantastic rates set up for the month of March on both golf courses so we encourage all of you to put your group together, call the golf shop, or go online at missioninresort.com and book your tee time. Come out and join us for a beautiful round of golf at Mission Inn. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you, Roy. Right now, uh, we're going into Saturday evening and we're doing our seafood, crab leg, and sushi prime rib buffet. It's every Saturday from five until nine o'clock. Well, it's $39.99 per person. With that, you'll get two pounds of snow crab legs, all you can eat prime rib, all you can eat sushi, everything else is all you can eat. Everything's made fresh and we put it out every Saturday. This is a wonderful offering of food, unlike any other in Lake County. You have soups, salads, entrees, starches, fresh homemade vegetables from our farmer's market that we go to every week. The chef puts together all his special recipes for every Saturday night for the prime rib sushi and seafood buffet here at the Nickers restaurant at the Mission Inn Resort. I'm most proud of the demeanor that the servers provide to the guests. Always anticipate guests' needs and give them what they're looking for. A wonderful time. I personally invite you to come back and try to experience the guest service that we exemplify. If you're out playing around a golf, stop by, get a sandwich, check us out, and every Saturday night from 5 until 9 p.m. we do put on the best buffet in the city. We hope you'll come out and enjoy this fabulous offering. Well, that food certainly looked good, and I'm, I'm hungry. And uh, responsible for that beautiful extravaganza is David Trotter, our Director of Food and Beverage. And David, you roll out some amazing uh, things here at the resort. Four restaurants, we, have, uh, we do over 650 uh, private events every year. Uh, we, I mean, there's just so many moving parts in, in your world. It's wonderful how you uh, really take it up a notch every time for repeat guests. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, and with all the seasonal things coming up, why don't you tell us, I know there's St. Patrick's Day and a couple other things yes, happening, uh, but first address this Saturday night, uh, prime rib, it's sushi, prime rib, and, and seafood, seafood buffet. buffet. Thank you very much, Roy. I appreciate those nice words. Um, this Saturday actually is our, our St. Patrick's Day inspired sushi, prime rib, and seafood buffet. So you'll see a lot of green items on the buffet. You'll see corned beef uh, and cabbage, the traditionally mm. copper kettled corned beef, which is really, really good. Served it last night as a feature for our members, and one of the members told me it's the best corned beef they've ever had in their mm. life. Um, and they weren't young, by the way. I know uh, what I'm it trying was, to It was an tonight. older member, so. <laughs> um, and then we'll have all kinds of inspired items, uh, shepherd's pie and, and items like that on the prime rib sushi and seafood buffet this Saturday. As well as Sunday morning, the, the morning after, if you don't get too full Saturday night, you come in for the champagne brunch Sunday morning here in La Hacienda restaurant. We will also have a St. Patrick's Day inspired champagne brunch. So that'll be a lot of fun. That's so, fantastic. Like you mentioned, March is a very exciting month for us. It's March Madness, as everybody knows. Uh, we got a great uh, St. Patrick's Day lunch buffet coming up this coming Wednesday, the 17th, in the La Hacienda restaurant where you can get half price Guinness beer with your buffet. That always makes lunch a little bit more enjoyable, so those yes, half-price Guinness stouts. Yes, it does. So, and Chef's prepared a whole bunch of really nice traditional items. He's got the Blarney beer-battered fish and chips, mm. the copper-kettled corned beef and cabbage that we mm. just talked about. That'll be served with potatoes and carrots. This is turning into my favorite He's segment. got the traditional <laughs> shepherd's pie on Wednesday. So we got a lot of the, the fun uh, Irish dishes as well as 
all of our staples that we have on our great buffets every week. So. Right. And it doesn't end there. Then you have Easter and and and, and it, it goes, goes one on after on. another. So April 17th, mark your calendars down. We have uh, Midnight Cellars coming back from uh, Paso Robles, California. Oh, It'll be our wine. fourth annual wine tasting wine dinner. Tasting. It's uh, a five course, four wine dinner. Three out of the four wines are, are all rated over 90 points by Minyas and, I had and the, the wine enthusiasts. I so. had the pleasure of attending the Penfold wine rollout, uh, global uh, rollout. And what's really cool is um, David and his culinary team get together and they really think through the the menu. It's remarkable. And they'll even use, I know at the Penfold, use the wine in creating the sauce. And there was a lot of blend of flavors. And uh, that's correct. it didn't we, only look good, it tasted good. And the, uh, just the detail that, that we, went We strive to infuse fantastic. and incorporate the wine that we're serving with each course in that course. So one way or another. So uh, right. ironically, for the Midnight Cellars dinner, we're, we're using their they're award-winning Merlot, and we're not going to serve the Merlot, but we're actually using the Merlot to make the sorbet. That'll be your intermezzo, mm. your palate cleaner for mm. the entree. So you have the so, wine complementing the food, and you have the food complementing the wine. Correct. So it is it's, a must-attend event. And then uh, May fifteenth, that's also a date to mark. We have a spirit dinner. We'll be uh, serving a a different cocktail and different liquor with each course. It's a five-course, four-spirit mm. spirit dinner. So, and that's with the uh, folks from um, South Florida. Um, Marlin and Barrel uh, is the distillery there, so and it's after a craft the, distillery. After the dinner, that one in particular, you might want to get a room here at the Mission Inn. We have yes. 176 uh, rooms here at the resort, and for events like this, it's a great little staycation, right? You come, have a beautiful yeah. dinner, and then just roll right oh, back we to We highly room. recommend it. Ride yeah. the elevator home or get an Uber or a designated yeah. driver. Yeah, so we like to have fun at these dinners, and uh, fantastic. Every, everybody remembers them for not remembering them. So That's it, right. it's a great experience. That's right. Fantastic opportunity. So. Well, your team is definitely the hardest working uh, team. And I tell that when I'm with Danny Parks for grounds maintenance, I tell him he's the hardest working team. Yes, I don't know I how know. to differentiate. I uh, think we're all hard amazing. working at the Mission Inn, so it's the name of the game. Our, our team is just, it's, it's such a great team that we're all willing to help each other and do whatever it takes yeah. to, and to make a great experience the customer for comment cards, if you go online and look at the reviews that we have, they're overwhelmingly positive. It's just a pleasure to see that we're able to deliver that kind of an experience that people go out of their way to say, wow, this was amazing. Sure is. When um, people ask me what I do for a living, I say I make people happy. So and whether it's with food or beverage or, or service. And or, some people you make happier than others. That's true. <laughs> that's true. So. Well, I'm very happy that you were here today with me to share this Thanks information for with, uh, so. with our, our, our social media oh, we appreciate uh, followers and, and potential guests. We do hope that you'll... Uh, have a little little flavor of, of what we uh, have for you when you come to stay here. Again, it's for individuals. Uh, David's revamping also the uh, the catering menu for, yep. for yep. groups, which is nice. We have some groups that have been coming for 45 years. So when David changes the menu, it gives them a nice uh, new culinary experience to look forward to. Yep. Um, and uh, please do come and try all of what David has to have. You don't have to be a resort guest if you're local or in the area and want to come for a buffet you're welcome to do so so it's open to the public it's for the resort guests and also the members uh chime in and have uh advantage of of all the and we have a little bit of everything for everybody you got wonderful outdoor dining decks to dine on if you'd like even in the inclement weather we put heaters out there we have two fire three fire pits now um, so people can stay warm in the cooler nights and uh, enjoy mm -hmm. their dinner right there at a fire pit yeah. and so. you mentioned the outdoor space you know we have 20,000 or 25,000 square feet of indoor meeting space. We have 30,000 square feet of outdoor, outdoor meeting, meeting space. space. Yep. So cocktail receptions, or even if you just want to have a cigar out by the fire pit or have sure. a small family gathering uh, outside, there's so many different places. We're behind the La Hacienda restaurant right now. So yep, which allows of, for social distancing and, yeah. and those that are afraid of the COVID to feel safe. So Absolutely. You know, anybody and everybody, come on out. We'll, we'll keep you safe and we'll give you some great experiences. Yeah. David, thank so, you again for joining us thanks today. Thanks for having me, And Ryan. thank you for your time to learn a little bit more about the Mission Inn. We hope we piqued your interest. Um, please see us online at missioninresort.com to see all the things we have to offer and some of the specials that we have to offer. Thank you again. Thank you. Welcome to the Mission Inn Resort and Club, one of the most picturesque spots in which to have a meeting or event on property 
is the Plaza de la Fontana area. Here, Mission Inn has the ability to host up to 400 people in a reception-style configuration, a perfect locale for weddings or receptions. Directly adjacent, and also conveniently located next to the La Hacienda restaurant, is the La Paloma room. La Paloma is comprised of an A and B side that can be combined into a moderately sized banquet or conference room, of course with a beautiful view of the Plaza Fountain outside. Our team would be honored to have you host your next event here at the Mission Inn Resort and Club. Submit a meeting proposal online at missioninresort.com or call us at 352-268-9574.